What would you classify that behind you to your left? That's kind of menacing, maybe? <laughs> That's a little freaky. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> well, you know, as the weather warms up, you're going to be seeing more geese around central Indiana. And hopefully not a whole lot like this <laughs> like dude that, here. No. <laughs> yeah. There is one particular goose, though, that's causing problems for shoppers in Hendricks County. Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker is in Avon tonight with this aggressive goose that has people and store owners completely honked off. John and Andrea, this is the time of year that geese build nests here in Indiana. And employees and customers here at this Avon shopping plaza off of US 36 say that's just what's going on here outside these stores, causing a nuisance and some unpleasant interactions between geese and people. Take a look at this one between a customer coming out of Gordman's this morning and a goose witnesses say has taken up residence outside the store along with another goose that people seem to think is guarding a nest because it rarely moves away from its spot behind this bench, almost hidden by the tall grass. Other customers, though, passed by without a problem. Even this guy who sat right down on the bench next to what witnesses believe is a nest and the goose guarding it did nothing. Some people fed the birds on their way into the stores, something the manager at the Hobby Lobby said had become a problem, along with goose droppings right outside the store. He said a retention pond behind the plaza had led to more geese around the stores in the past few years. This customer said she just tried to stay out of the bird's way. When I first walked up over here, she chased me, and I, I had to like walk a big circle around to get to the door, and then I just went in this door. When I came out, she chased me again. According to the Indiana Department of Natural Resources website, if geese are being aggressive when guarding a nest, you don't need a special permit from the state to remove the nest or the eggs, but you do need to register online with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service before removing either. And DNR advises public places like this one where geese have taken up residence to adopt a no-feeding policy to discourage them from coming back next year. John?